Well, I, maybe that's a better question is to say, hey, your, you know, reorders should be, you know, from most e-commerce reorders should be 40% of your annual sales. Hmm. It, let's just say though, that we only get to half of that. So let's take 20% right. of your annual, annual sales are reorders. Well, even if they're a six figure seller, okay, we're going to add, you know, 20, 50 grand to your bottom line without, you know, without a whole lot of marketing expense, your ROI on it is incredibly high. Yep. Yeah. You don't have to do anything. We're going to send more traffic in some kind of a way, whether it be like a, an address for you to create a multi-channel fulfillment order for, or something. So minimal, minimal, uh, work on their end, but they're getting a customer that is probably already buying the product that they have. Yeah, absolutely minimal because, you know, either one, you know, like, I mean, if, if you end up coming up with a free product, that's not one that's already in their line, you know, like if you do gift card or whatever it is that you do, well, okay, we'll handle, we'll handle the details of that. Right. Well, okay. If it's a gift card, I can work with a company where I can basically just upload a file each day and I can probably even automate it with an API of some sort. And it's just, you know, it just happens and I don't do anything and they don't, and the partner doesn't do anything either. If it's their product and they're an Amazon seller, like you said, I can literally generate an MCF file, a bulk upload file for them every day and just send it over to them. And all they got to do is upload it. You know, like it's a 30 second process for them. And that's all the work that they have invested in that. Hmm. And the other thing too, is if the free product is one that they, that they're selling on Amazon, just because somebody gets that product for free doesn't mean they can't review it, right? Mm -hmm. And honestly, if I get the product for free, mm -hmm. I'm that really? much more apt to give it a positive review yeah. because it was free. So anything that well, I- Especially with a little bit of a nudge in an email or a text message from either of the brand owners. Absolutely. So do, you just, uh, do you just send them a coupon code then for so they can order it directly off of Amazon for free? I think the, the, no, I, I don't, I, I think it would, I, you would do MCF. I would still go MCF. Well, and they, the reason can they leave a review? That, I don't think, can you leave a review? Yeah. If you no, they, it's MCF just not or... verified. It's not, it's just uh, not a verified yeah. purchase. Yep. They can still go review it. It doesn't matter. And, and most people don't even pay attention to whether it's verified review or not. And Amazon really ultimately doesn't care as long as they don't get this massive influx of, of unverified reviews all at once. Like they don't pay attention to it. And the beauty of that also is then, because here's what Amazon will pay attention to. And I think at a, to a far greater degree, number one, just because they have the data. And that is if you were sending the customer to Amazon to buy it and getting basically a, a coupon to get it for more or less free, now Amazon knows that this person's getting free items and reviewing them. Free item review, free item review. If it's an MCF order, I don't think Amazon ties that together. Mm -mm. I don't think so either. Hmm. So I think it's a much cleaner way to do that, to be able to actually give a free product that you can still get a review on without Amazon really balking about it or even technically hardly knowing about it. MCF multi-channel fulfillment. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yeah, which exactly. now, I mean, I haven't looked into it, but apparently they're opening it up so you can even use your own branded boxes. Yeah, I believe that is true. Yep. Oh, really? That's interesting. I, Amazon needs to squeeze every nickel <laughs> right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So, um, so yeah. But I was telling John, you, you kind of came in afterward. We are actually running into a little bit of resistance from the partner, which I'm flabbergasted by. I was telling John, I can't figure it out for the life of me because knowing what their lifetime value per customer is and knowing how quickly they would get back their investment. Like I told John, I was like, so they got, they had $50 million in venture capital invested with them last year, like over the last 12 months. And I know, I, I guarantee you based on the numbers that they do put out there in terms of articles they've done in PR and stuff, that they've got about 20 million in, in revenue that they've pulled in over the last 12 months. So they got 70 million that's come in. And if they're putting less than 30% 30, 30 of that into marketing, then they're, they have no idea what they're doing. So that's $20 million they have at their disposal for marketing. And what I'm proposing to them is basically a one month trial that would cost them about 85 grand which is one half of 1% of their marketing budget right now. 
like what they have available to them. Um, and, and they're balking about it. Like, Hey, it's the off season. I don't know how much we can really put into this. And I was like, you know, screw this. I, I emailed him back and basically said, look, you know, I mean, e- either we do this or not, let's pull the trigger or, or I need a different partner uh, because I need to go now. I wonder what their, um, their fiscal year end is. I wonder if it's an accounting thing. It's possible. We'll see what they get back to me with, but even so, I mean, even if it was an accounting thing, like, I mean, 85 grand is, is a drop in the bucket. Like it's nothing. Like it's literally, it's nothing, you know I mean? And I told him, I was like, look, it's your marketing dollars. I mean, you can spend them any way you want. I mean, it's not, I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money, you know, like that's not my place, but you know, you were all going to get a better return on investment. (laughs) You know, I mean, it's like you, you guys were so gung ho, you, you were telling me how much better return on this, you know, you were going to get than anything else that you could possibly do. Why would we not move on this and see what that's going to do, you know, and do it before we get into the high season. Cause if we wait like good Lord, you know, then, then we miss out on just that many more sales, you know, like, why would you not want to start now? It's just that many customers that we're going to miss. So um, we'll see. 